London, a member of UK's Parliament was stabbed to death Friday during a meeting with constituents at a church in eastern England, an attack that united Britain's fractious politicians in shock and sorrow. A 25-year-old man was arrested at the scene. Police gave no immediate details on the motive for the killing of 69-year-old conservative lawmaker David Amos and did not identify the suspect, who was being held on suspicion of murder. British politicians generally are not given police protection when they meet with their constituents. The suspect is being being held on suspicion of murder, police said. Police did not comment on possible motive or identify the suspect. Sky News and others said Amos was attacked during a regular meeting with constituents at Belfair's Methodist Church in a residential area of Leonsi, about 40 miles east of London. Paramedics worked at the scene without success to save his life. Amos had been a member of Parliament for South and West, which includes Lee on Sea, since 1997, and had served as a lawmaker since 1983, making him one of the longest-serving members of the House of Commons. Politicians from across the political spectrum expressed shock and sorrow at the death of Amos, who leaves a wife and five children. Conservative lawmaker Tracy Crouch tweeted, heartbroken. I could write reams on how Sir David was one of the kindest, most compassionate, well-liked colleagues in Parliament. But I can't. I feel sick. I'm lost. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon of the Scottish National Party tweeted, elected representatives from across the political spectrum will be united in sadness and shock today. In a democracy, Politicians must be accessible and open to scrutiny, but no one deserves to have their life taken while working for and representing their constituents. Carrie Johnson, wife of Prime Minister Boris Johnson, wrote on Twitter, Absolutely devastating news about Sir David Amos, 